If you take a walk or drive through the streets of Nashville, you're very likely to see some of the murals that seem to pop up everywhere. Well, in our next story, Miranda Cohen introduces us to a young mural artist, one who's hard at work decorating Music City with her colorful creations. I think I've always loved painting and drawing my entire life. It was definitely, you know, my favorite activity in school and in high school I started kind of getting serious about it. Tess Davies is tucked away in her Nashville loft, carefully blending colors and painting images on a canvas that only a true artist can imagine. A Nashville native and a graduate of Swanee, the University of the South, she appears to be blending fragile, exotic colors in her refined style of art. But in truth, she is using something much more common and accessible. I guess I'm so used to using ha house paint now and exterior paint and spray paint that I've incorporated that into my um, studio work as well. So it's kind of, it all sort of melds together now. In one of her many studio styles, Davies will use everyday exterior paint to carefully paint delicate details of interior rooms, which conjure up memories of her childhood. I was the Barbie generation, so I had to make everything pink because that's the color I think of when I think of my childhood. So, um, yeah, that series is just, it's about home and comfort and confinement and a little bit also about isolation and um, loneliness because they all they're all empty rooms mm -hmm. so I think um, thematically they kind of tie into everything else that I'm doing expecting her first child with husband Barton Davies also a local Nashvilleian and a member of the band boy named banjo it was her love of people and feeling of isolation during the pandemic that caused her to start thinking of both her art and her impact on her community on a much larger scale. So those pieces kind of came as a result of COVID. We complained about Nashville's growth a little bit and crowds and traffic and everything else and then you started to miss those things. So those pieces specifically speak to that and um, you know, not taking for granted, you know, closeness and togetherness. The faceless people coming together to share and to be close, the blending of color and texture, fluidly interacting to reflect the feel of community that we all so desperately missed. That is when Davies began to think bigger on a larger scale and to make broader strokes, both on her canvas and on her beloved hometown. So she began painting murals. I did a lot of um, interior walls with hotels and restaurants around town and a few exterior walls. Um, with Metro and um, I've done some apartment buildings, so it's just kind of all over the map. I think the biggest one I've done is seven stories. And when I was working on it, you know, you're, you're right up against the wall, so you don't really appreciate the scale. But now looking back, I'm like, wow, I, that, that was a big wall. <laughs> so. It's cool, I, I like being able to see it and pass by it. It's fun to see the expansion that's happening with our city and developers that are coming in from other cities. They do want to make spaces that feel like Nashville. It's been exciting, I definitely have loved being able to put my mark on it as it's as it's grown. From her smaller in-studio works to her pieces soaring over the skyline of Music City, Davies likes to color outside of the lines and hopes her art will mimic the ever-evolving landscape of Nashville. But I never want to settle on one style. I like to just continue to challenge myself and 
um, switch it up and change my style and change the subject matter so that I'm never too comfortable in what I'm doing. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.